Alright guys, Supreme Kami here, and today we are going to be talking about my best build of 2022. Uh, this is not any build, this is going to be melee build specifically, so I remember it did something like this last year around. Um, the version of that last year was actually 0.7 star because as the recording, I believe we were not really getting any 7 star parts for melee build as of yet, so that's why I couldn't do any of it. So here we are after how many months, 12 months. Uh, we were able to completely fill up everything with seven star parts and etc. So um, I guess this also served as a video, just you know, just talking about how it has seven star kind of affected our, I guess, the game overall. Has it really changed all that much? I would definitely say it has. I, 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 I would say for sure um, because all around, like, there's still a lot of parts out there in, 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 within within our box that are just not eligible for a seven star yet so that is really unfortunate so hopefully by the time we roll into 2023 they can start releasing more of the older stuff that are eligible for seven star because it, it just kind of sucks right um you just have parts that you kind of max out already but they they innately are just really bad because they don't have that seven star stats and etc but the parts are still good but just just doesn't have that seven star uh, you know stats, but without further talking about you know that let's talk about this overall build So this is pretty much what we are having. So this is gonna be a speed attribute build um, As far as like, oh, am I gonna go over every single part clicking through it? I'm not doing that So it's either gonna be on the left or right hand side I should have both the main slot and the sub slot uh, Whatever part I have on the build kind of show you guys so you guys can just have a uh, Comprehensive look of everything together without me just clicking spending like bajillion minutes explaining oh this is this is what part i use for what um the general foundation of this build is a revolving around active war type pro tags high firepower and then high mo or mobile fighter um so this is definitely not a build especially seven star tier uh definitely not something everyone can be doing because in terms of the burning in them this one is a build project build project unit so um it's not going to be found within a lot of players box but eventually the burning in them should be released as a one of those uh, build project materials so um by that time i think a lot of people would be able to get their hands into the burning in them um but other than that let's just talk about the i guess the basic parameters so we are looking at around 186,000. so um i guess in today's standard that is actually not that high because people are pretty much pushing into the 200,000 uh, territory which i have not you know gotten to it just because i don't really have the max support for melee um just in general melee has not really been it's, it's been in the back burner uh it's not something that i really play pay quite close attention into um so whatever part i have for my machine based build i pretty much uh, supply into my melee build um that's essentially how it's working um, as far as like the nitty gritty, I do have pretty much the max of parts rate possible. Like, you know, talking about the regular, you know, EX gear power boosted, melee power boosted. Uh, we have those buff traits, we have those damage traits. Uh, we also do have some of the, um, you know, link attributes. We also do have some of the, or bonus trait first and then link attribute. So those, uh, I want to say there should be first and foremost. So bullet time number one, you have your regular ex skill power boosted slash melee power and then number two we have the damage trait which i think it could be found a lot on this one this uh, this part right there um and then this part right there so that's I, I i guess i call it like number two bulletin point and then number three we have those buff traits and then number four we have ourselves um these right here we have the bonus traits so that's like I guess number four uh, as far as like my building blocks and last but not least we have the invisible link attribute so link attribute is only going to be applicable to parts that has um how, how, how should i call it parts that have um what is it those uh alternative attribute things that people do not like but they innately grant you more power like burning in them uh burning in them all around does have the attribute links because uh we have the p attribute and then we have the s attribute so we have fulfilled it the link points or the activation requirement so that's that so we are gaining a six percent all power boosted so this right here does not contribute into the damage rate so they are actually two different formulas into calculating it so that's why um i will have a calculation of every stat together so you guys can have a good view of like oh how much is this overall unit generating and, and stuff so as far as link attribute or the active or the attribute links we have one two three four five six seven eight so 
eight of those parts are getting that additional six percent so if you do a quick map that is a 48 percent increase that um you are getting uh, over parts that does not have link attribute uh, purposely i did this i was you know just for a quick example i was using the sasabi the live size version this one unfortunately does not have the link attribute so i swapped them out uh, if i would have did it the other way obviously this one would have been higher because this one is uh, pretty much upgraded to a level 96 you know just upgrade it on general so this one uh flipping it would have grabbed me more base melee attack but you know i was thinking about oh i want to benefit from the actual link attribute uh invincible six percent that does not stated in the um kind of like the build itself but it's kind of embedded into it i was like maybe i should do it that way because i do want that invincible six percent so that is that um so yeah these are you know your bonus trade and i think that is pretty much it um i don't think there's any things that, any other th oh they are other things to talk about the gears how could i forget about the gears so gears are going to be as follows so we went for the five star so currently there's only the five star version for the torso the rest of them are only four stars so those are the highest rarity we can get so i pretty much have the i guess the most optimal um flat out 2500 for the base melee attack and then the 40 percent change gear we also do have the inferior job license gear and then we also do have the mobile fighter and then we also went with the speed versus p uh for the melee so that's why this one is uh, gonna be um offering me an additional 2000 base melee attack and i think that pretty much covers it and obviously last but not least we do have the custom ability that kind of grants me um, when attacking with beam, all powers boost by 20%, and then one for physical, and then an additional one for the bubble skill effects. So that pretty much sums up like oh my overall build. So um, hopefully to this point is not too hard to kind of like follow along. So this is pretty much just fill filling out from head part to the pilot slot. But obviously I have done that already. But uh, other than that, I think that pretty much sums up like the overall skeleton, just the overall build. But as for the skin, uh, we obviously do have to apply the skin because that is pretty much how we can apply some of our EX skill. So I'm just gonna go for a very simple name because right now we still have the, um, I believe the big exam, not the big exam, excuse me, uh, the hash mode automation. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hop in there and then we are gonna do a one damage marker testing for you guys. So you guys, you know, in terms of the hash mode, there are two kind of two bases. You have the leg, you have to kind of break the leg parts and then, then you can hop into the actual main like the main fight you know, like where you, you where you fight the actual main body so that is where i will be using the bicep it max out a free to play you want to call it how you want to call it right this one is a standard uh leg part ex skill that is uh, ex skill level 10 so this one i guess serves as a pretty good barometer of how i'm doing it so i am providing myself one buffs with the back part ex skill and then an additional buff right there so two buffs alongside with my buff trait we have one buff trait two buff trades and then an additional one, one right there so if anyone does want to replicate this testing um that is kind of like the gist of things so you guys can kind of compare to see how you guys are doing versus how i'm doing and kind of gauge like oh how how much better or how much worse <laughs> my is compared to you or how much better my is compared to you guys but uh without any further ado talk about this build let's actually hop in and get some few tests to see how good is this uh, 2022 version of mainly build So we are in. So what we are gonna do, we're gonna activate the limit break, activate the back part EX skill now, and then just let's see what we're gonna do. So I don't think we're gonna get any damage worker in this one because uh, we pretty much off finish off the enemy already. So bicep time. So I have not used bicep for quite a long time. So okay, I'll take that. Granted, this is only single buffed in. Uh, we have the back part EX skill buffing into the bicep. So there's technically only two, two stacks. So 47 million off bicep is uh, probably the highest I've seen so far this now uh, from a two buff stack. That is crazy. So, um, but there you guys have it. So that is going to be my 2022 melee version and uh melee version build and that is actually just crazy so probably within a day or two i will be dropping my shooting base version of it so i think my shooting base build should be i guess more relevant than like 
uh, I, I want to say more current as far as parts because uh, Shin-Bay's build is pretty much like the bread and butter in terms of game content wise yes uh, specifically for the more competitive mode the arena so um yeah but other than that that is definitely really impressive to see how how far we have came from uh, especially back in 2021 where we only have six parts to now uh pretty, pretty much everything is limited right now it's uh seven star able and but um other than that that should be pretty much it for me and then i'll be catching you guys all on the next one